Welcome back. The struggle to deal with challenges in one Denver neighborhood caught our sister station's attention after they learned someone had stolen a piece of a wooden fence. Yes, a wooden fence, but it wasn't just any fence. On its face was a piece of art depicting the neighborhood dealing with two very different cultures trying to coexist peacefully. Now a new effort is underway to restore that fence with a new form of art. Take a look. So this fence, as you can see, there's, there's a mural on it. If you drove through this Westwood neighborhood in southwest Denver, you might not even notice it, unless you're a bad guy marking territory. The mural's getting tagged, so we're going to be fixing it and putting another mural up over it. Time is ticking, though, to figure out what to do with the fence that takes beatings from strangers. Santi Jaramil, an artist from the neighborhood, said it stood here for seven years as a makeshift sanctuary. But then gangs began tagging it. We don't know what the tags are exactly. Then the unthinkable. Someone stole pieces of the fence. <laughs> Determined to not let this piece of art crumble, he and a group of others got to work. How you doing, bro? Dedication and resilience from volunteers like Zion Hadamil, who's from Westwood. When it was first up here, there was no tagging. It was nice. Like me and my buddies will talk about it, but now it's like so much tagging on it, it's ridiculous. A park. We'll go here someday. I think there's just a lot of frustration. You know, the violence is, has spiked here. I think I wanted to start off with. What was becoming an eyesore is now getting a facelift. Right so what we're going to be putting up is a is a giant uh, photograph mural. It could overlap, you know. It's going to be photos from people around the neighborhood, some of the community leaders, some of the kids who live here in the projects. Pictures of people like Paul Gonzalez, who's turned his life around and is now inspiring others here. What we're trying to do is just give give the community a face. There are no fancy museums in this part of Denver, but there are beyond talented artists with big hearts who care. Well, we're hoping that um, what we can do is elevate the neighborhood. This fence has now become a symbol, a fence of hope. Covering up graffiti and combating any gang violence and things of that nature, I'm all for it. The idea, though, is to get it, to stop it before it gets bad. We wanted to sort of beautify everything, try to bring a positive message again. That message could take time, but worth it, they say. I think visibly having people out here and showing that people care and are wanting to improve the community, this is one piece of that. It's one more step, <laughs> right on. a homegrown look Perfect. to help a struggling neighborhood yeah, got it. have a better tomorrow.